Well, if you were a Kerry man, Ronnie, it was great football. If you were a Kerry man, it was great football. If you were a neutral, I think I slept during the first half. Um, so it was a great finish, great spectacle. But uh, at the end of the day, the, the true great of Kerry came out in the end. But no, it wasn't, it wasn't for me anyway. Ronnie, what does Brian Cody have to do to get Kilkenny over the line? On Saturday, I suppose we have to bring just what Brian Cody often talks about, huge intensity. And that's an, uh, the savagery that we call it. Brian Cody talks about winning. And I think that's what it's down to. It's just pure heart and hard work. And as Jim Leary says, both teams are primed now to the... Yeah, no, that's it. It's, it's very even key. We have a team, possibly in Tipperary, that are a young, fresh, hungry, fitter team, possibly, or probably the team of the future. We have a Kilkenny team, possibly, that's not the team that it was, on the fade, maybe only on the fade, because there's the leading players are probably on the wrong side of 30. But look, we've went through all that. It's a 70-minute game. Both teams are primed and ready for another classic. Ronnie, who do you think uh, Brian Cody will pick? What's the first 15? We don't want to be a magician to understand what team Brian Cody is going to pick, but on a personal level, I think the team he might pick obviously won't make won't be a massive change. I think there might be two changes. The rumours around the town, around the training camp are obviously huge, but personally, I think he'll go with uh, something similar like Owen Murphy on goal, Paul Murphy, JJ Delaney, Jackie Tyrrell. I think Parry Welsh will start, Brian Hogan and hold on, and K- K- um, Killian Buckley. I think he'll pick Richie Hogan and Conor Fogarty in the middle of the field to start. They mightn't, mightn't start there, they'll start there, but they mightn't go to their positions. They might go to different positions. Half hour line, I think he'll have Michael Fenley, Colin Fenley, TJ Reid, and I think he'll start Henry, uh, Richie Power, and Owen Larkin. So I think there'll be two changes, but in the two changes, I still believe there'll be a surprise. The surprise, Kieran Joyce, Lester Ryan, John Power. And uh, Tommy Welsh. Tommy Welch, of course, is the major surprise. I mean, Tommy hasn't got a hasn't hasn't got t- game time recently. If I was picking my team, I'd have the two Welches uh, on my half back line any day of the week. If you're up in Tipperary and you're John Bubbles the Wire or Noel McGrath and you're asked, well, who would you like to mark? I wouldn't say Tommy Welch is on their list. So I believe personally, but then I'm sentimental. Brian Cody isn't. <laughs> and Ronnie, what about John Welch, the minor? John Welch, the minor, yeah. John Welch, the minor, showed through ability on the day. I mean, had. Been on the minor team panel for the last three years, and then on the day it was brilliant. Two five, um, so great hunger on the day, and sure obviously pulled the game out of the fire for for the Kilkenny miners. Like any good miner, he has a future. It's up to him now to mind himself, and if he can mind himself, well then he has a future. So the only time Kilkenny have lost the replay was against Dublin. Yes, in uh, two years ago. Um, is that an omen? I'm not too sure. I, I mean, it's going to be very close. There's no doubt about it. Anyone gets thinks that either team are going to run away with it. Based on form, that can't happen. Could it happen? Of course it could. Every game takes a life of its own. And what's your prediction? I think it'll be very close, like we said the last day. Um, you'd like to think we'll win. Of course we'd like to win, but I think it'll be very, very close. Another draw? Possibly. Good man, Ronnie.